All right, so let's talk about models. So for this one, we're going to create a new component because just putting it here, it's going to be a little bit messy. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this one models.js. Uh, actually, it could be model. Sorry for that. So model. All right. Of course, we need to do the usual stuff. So I'm going to copy the import of React just like we did before. And I'm going to leave the view, the button, and text and style sheet. So again, we just need to create a class because I'm lazy. I want to just copy this. I'm going to call this one modal and then component. And then at the bottom, I'm going to just maybe render something. So render, open and close, return. We return something and uh, we're going to return something simple for now. I'm just going to add maybe a view. We're going to use that view later. And view. And I made a mistake with this, but don't worry. I'm going to fix it in a second. I'm going to say view. And of course, when we return, we return some JSX. So we need to do this. Sorry for that. All right. So we get a view. And inside, I'm going to do text and I don't know, hello. Of course, then we need to export this one. So export default and model component. And uh, I'm going to go and copy the styles. And I'm going to close this one and close it and close it. And I'm going to comment this out for now. All right, so we pretty much get our uh, modal component. All right, so of course, then we need to import it at the top. So import modal, uh, say comp from dot forward slash SRC. We're going to go to modal and there we go. So now I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to get rid of the other things, uh, the image background go here and maybe paste it at the bottom. So the, of course, this project is going to go to you so you can download it and play around with this. So I'm going to save it and let's see what we get. So we're going to reload it and we get hello. That's good. That's what we need to get. So I'm going to go and I'm going to close this once. I'm going to go back to modal. So now what I want to do, I want to click a button right here and show a model. Right, the default model we get with the, with the platform, you know, with the iOS or Android. So for this one, I kind of need a button. That's why I'm using a button. Every time I click it, I'm gonna swap the state to show or hide the model. Pretty simple stuff, you know. I'm gonna go to the style. I'm gonna add some inline style for now, just a width of 100%. I'm gonna go and just delete the text. I'm gonna add just a button. Right, so the button, uh, we're going to, of course, add a title. We need to add a title. And I'm going to call it open modal. And what are we going to do? So I'm going to do an impress. And whenever we press this, I'm going to run a function called this handle model. Of course, we don't have this function. We need to create it. So at the top of the render, I'm going to go here and say, I want to, of course, run a function. Okay, now I'm going to bring the model right here at the top. We're going to use it in a minute. So the uh, component calls model and the handle model. The only thing is going to do is to change the state of the model. So first I need to create a state with modal. Uh, you could call this whatever you want. And the model starts as false. So of course, after we uh, attach the model and we create everything, we're going to check on the state if we want to show the model or not. Since on the state, the initial state, it's false, you know, we are not going to show it. All right. I'm using this way. We have new ways of doing this with uh, React. I'm using this one because it's pretty safe with the version we've got. If you want to use initial props or initial state, uh, you can totally do it. And this is, of course, uh, assuming that you're very comfortable with React. So I'm going to do this that set state and I'm going to open and close and I'm going to say modal. And the modal, of course, we're going to do this dot state dot modal. So if the model is, uh, of course, true, we're going to change it to false. And if it's false, we're going to change it to true. This is kind of a standard ternary operation. All right. Pretty simple stuff. If we click the button, it's going to go here and say, OK, what is the state of model? It's false. Oh, OK, so I'm going to change it to true. And if it's true, oh, I'm going to change it to false. So this is pretty much what we are doing right here. Okay, so now what do we need to do? Well, we need to bring the model, right? So I'm going to go at the bottom and I'm going to bring the model open and close. Now, of course, inside uh, of the model, we need to at least get something. So I'm going to create a view with some dumb, dumb you know, content. I'm going to bring style 
and I'm going to say that the margin top, it's, uh, I don't know, 50. You're almost done. I know this is boring, but we kind of need to do it. And maybe a background color. So we can tell the difference. So we get a background color and inside I'm going to say, I don't know, some text, my modal content, simple stuff. All right. So of course, if the application starts, nothing is going to really happen, right? So we get the modal content, right? But th th we know that. And it's because we are not really using the state. So this modal needs to know what's going to happen when the application loads. You know, I am going to be uh, visible at the beginning or I'm going to be hidden. What am I going to do? Well, this one, you can manage this with the visible property. Let me do it. All right, visible. There we go. So of course, this one takes a Boolean, right? True, false. Since we do have that on the state, this is the state.model. So this one starts at false. If we reload the application, we kind of don't get it. Now, if of course we click it, we're going to show the model. And you know, this is a model. Now, of course, what the model is doing, it's pretty much putting a pretty large container pretty, uh, on top of the whole screen. And that's, you know, how the model works. It's just like a new screen on top of everything. We just see the background red because we are using the view, right? The model is just by default white and you get uh, everything at, at the top. It's just like a new screen. Now, of course, we can grab this view at a style of flex and make it kind of a full width. And I'm going to do it uh, because I want to just move forward to the next thing. And I want to show you something else with this one. Now, what I want to do, I want to add a button right here at the top, at the bottom, to close the model. So this one is just going to be button. And of course, we need a title, title equal to uh, close modal, something like that. And I'm doing on press. And whatever we press it, we can pretty much do the same thing that uh, we get at the top. Since we are going to toggle that state, we're going to open model, close model, and there we go. Now, of course, this is pretty, pretty simple. Now with the model, you get some properties, and they are really cool. So I'm going to go to model. And these are the props you get. So of course, you get callbacks when whenever the orientation changes on the phone, you get a way to know, you know, that that happened and, you know, maybe close the, the model, you get the, um, the on request close, if you know, we are closing it, you get, you know, that, and you know, a lot of different properties. But the one the more most important one, it's the animation type, let me just find it animation type, I'm gonna go here. And the animation type gives you three ways of showing that component. You get the slide, you get the fade, or you know none. So I'm going to copy this property, and I'm going to go to the model and say that now I want you know an animation type. So by default, it takes a string, right? None, slide, or fade. So default, it's none. That's why we when we you know load it, nothing really happens. Just like popping out. So you can do slide and let's see what happens. I'm going to say slide, I'm going to reload it. And if I click it, we get that slide. So, you know, it, it's a little bit better. I would use that one if you ask me. And then of course you get the fade. I don't really like the fade. I'm just going to show you anyways. It's going to reload it. Oh, let's reload it. I'm going to open the model and you know, it's not ugly, but I much prefer the slide. All right, that's the most important property. All the other ones are just callback. Whenever you do on show, you just, you know, do something. So I'm going to say on show, just like that, open and close, and we just run a function. So alert, just like the other callbacks, you know, showing, I don't know. So I'm going to go and reload it and open model. And uh, of course, I'm not getting it. So why is that? So alert, I'm pretty sure I did something wrong. So, all right, I should be getting something. So on show, and then we just run the function. So why it's not working? All right, just let me let me just double check. So on show, it is a function, and we pass the property. So what is happening? All right, just let, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure this is my mistake. So let me just double check. All right, I'm sorry for that, guys. Um. Really embarrassed. Uh, I was putting it on the button, 
And this is, you know, what happens when you're talking and coding at the same time. Sorry for that. Happens. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to reload the application, open modal, and we get the alert, you know, that's callback. Yeah, I was really confused. Why is it not working? You know, it's pretty simple. So yeah, it was my dumb mistake. But it happens, you know, it's going to happen to you at one point. Okay, so we are done with the most basic components we could get with uh, React uh, Native. Now, uh, if you ask me, uh, you know, uh, are we going to use these components the whole time? Well, yeah, uh, most of the times you're going to just use this because they are the most basic ones and you could just take these components and you could create whatever application you wish. You wish. And of course, we get more and more things, uh, of course, to create more complex applications. And on the next section, we're going to talk about that. Now, when you use an application, you create an application, you're, you, uh, you're, cre you're entering a different application, not your application, uh, you're going to get some kind of a navigation logic. Maybe you get a side drawer. Uh, maybe you uh, click it and you go to the next screen where you get the back and the title and the header, or maybe a tab-based component where you have the options in the tab right at the bottom of the screen and you tap it and you go to different sections. So by default, you don't get this with React Native. You don't get it, right? There's no way to do that with just React Native. So what you can do, you can install a third party library that will do this for you. You have some options in the market uh, and uh, we are gonna install the and use the one that React Native suggests. But don't worry, we're gonna talk about all of this uh, on the next on the next section. So let, let's go to the next one and start with navigation and make sure you have time for this. All right.